As F1 drivers get ready to race across the strip in just a few weeks, crews are rushing to finish road work, which is of course causing those traffic jams and a lot of frustration. 8 News Now reporter Joshua Piguero has the details on the final push to have that track ready. November 16 is when the long-awaited F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix starts, but for some locals who've had to deal with the road work, they say that date can't come soon enough. For us, like the employees, it's a pain in the neck because every day is a hustle for us to get to work and to get home in the afternoon. Alicio Flores works at the Venetian and says he still doesn't have a plan yet on how he'll get to work on F1 weekend. I'm taking the city bus three days a week so I don't have to deal with this mess. Crews built this temporary vehicle or bridge between Flamingo and Colval to ease the traffic congestion. There's also a similar bridge on Audrey Street that goes over Harmon. A tourist says it's cool to see all the F1 road work and they can't wait for the spectacle of the races. We had it in South Australia for many years and there was a lot of congestion and, and sorts of things um, and it was a nightmare but the finance that went into our state was really beneficial. Last week, the Department of Homeland Security raised the security rating for the sprawling 3.8 mile race, making available federal resources such as bomb sniffing dogs and field intelligence teams. We certainly don't want to see anything go wrong with this event. Everybody's excited about it and they're expecting half a million people but with tickets and with spectators. There will be several other road projects happening all this week in preparation for it, including the installation of track lighting and barriers that will go up for the race. Several pedestrian bridges will be closed as well overnight until Friday. Among them, the one connecting Caesars and the Cromwell that goes over the strip. Reporting between Flamingo and Cobalt, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. The project manager of the Las Vegas Grand Prix previously told county leaders that the F1 structures will start coming down the day after the race.